laser engraving on slate. Um, this video I'll tell you how I do them and how I get the best results for each individual one. Now first off, obviously you start with your slate. Your slate's going to look obviously like this. Now this is just an engraving on plain slate. Obviously there's nothing, nothing been done to it. Obviously you can see it's not that clear. Um, and you obviously you've got your scuff marks. It scuffs dead easy. So this is just bare, bare slate. And then this is sprayed with a finish. I have marked this one, which I will touch up. But as you can see, there's a big difference in um, non-painted to painted, well, sprayed. Now, this is uh, one that I did earlier, which is sprayed in lacquer. Obviously, you can see how clear that is and how crisp it looks. Now, don't forget when, as I said before in other videos, when you're lasering slate, when you're lasering anything, pretty much, um, I mean, I'm using an endurance laser. There's no difference in, if you wanted to use a different laser, that's fine. Um, I have found with this, it works extremely well. I mean, you've just seen the results. Um, all these that I'm gonna show you are all done with the same laser, but obviously I use different lacquers. Now this is a different lacquer that I've tested, so you don't have to. Um, it's not come out great, it's quite flat as well. Um, and the engraving hasn't come out really good. Um, this is the one I've just tested. Um, so anybody, I mean I used this on my last video for the mirrors, um, but obviously the mirror spray. The chalk finish lacquer is not great for slate. Now on the other hand, the other brand, same brand, sorry, um, the Crystal Clear, and I use a matte finish. I've not tried the gloss finish, but the matte finish I've found is, it just looks a lot better. Um, from other one, other, other stuff I've sprayed with the, the shiny one, but the matte is perfect. Um, it's dead cheap as well. All I do is I clean my slate, once it's clean and dry, give it a, a just a thin coat over with this. This dries within a couple of minutes. You'll see as it's drying where it's dried and where it's not. As soon as you've dried it, put it under your lazy mark where you want. Don't forget you need to raise your feet of your laser by whatever thickness the slate is. So normally I have quite a few of these laying around. Um, so I'll put one under each foot before I put this under and then obviously I'll chuck this under and, and laser but as you can see from the results um, from finished with matte and then obviously lasered over the top after I've sprayed it um, you get a really really good results versus no spray which obviously a lot of people have been trying to do trying to get the end result like I have been doing, but obviously are a bit confused on how to do it. So that is literally a little tip, hack, however you want to call it. So, but this sell this in, uh, if you live in the UK, Wilco's, um, B&Q, B&Q normally have it 90% of the time, it's about £11 a can. Um, but I always go for the clear, you can try the gloss by all means, but I just find the mats, the mats the better finish. Then obviously you've got the other one, which is the chalk based lacquer, um, which is matte finish again, but it's it doesn't give it that crisp, crisp finish. So uh, any questions, um, feel free to ask, or if you've got another tip that how you do it, feel free to post or message me your, your link to your video if you if you've got one, and uh, I'll check that out. Um, don't forget at the end of this video as well, as always, um, if you read the description you'll see a link to Endurance Lasers website. With that link you get $50 off. So if you order one, 
using that link that's on the bottom of this video you will get $50 off so it's always worth having a look if you decide to order one I've made videos on how to fit these um, they can be mounted to 3d printers CNC machines obviously this is an help to make a frame but obviously with an endurance laser laser um, but it's literally dead easy it takes a couple of minutes and away you go um, I found these a lot stronger and these are true watt lasers as I call them um, to the Chinese ones which I found obviously if I did this mirror that I've got in the background with the Chinese one it would take me about 10 passes with this laser it takes me one um, and this is actually a lower watt laser than what I had previously um, so obviously I know this is a true watt to what it says on the, the label so any other questions or anything the group will be on the bottom of the video as well so if you want to head over there and have a look as well on my work and everybody else's work that does uh, videos as well and any questions just feel free to ask